Okay, we're here with Peter Polanski. We're going to ask him some skill testing questions and some semi-goofy questions. But uh, Peter, I was thinking back 2006, you and Philip Bester, yeah. he made the final of the French Open, you made the final of the uh, US Open Juniors. Yeah. Ten years later, Denis Shapovalov makes the final of Wimbledon, Felix Auger-Eliassime win, sorry, he won Wimbledon, and Felix Auger-Eliassime wins the US Open. What's the difference between that time and this time? Oh, tough question, but uh, you know, I think nowadays the kids are a lot more grown up, they're a lot more mature, especially the top players at uh, you know, the under 16s, under 18s. Um, they're already playing like men. Whereas I think 10 years ago there was still uh, just some junior traits to some of the players, um, whether it be their body size, physicality. But uh, I think the level is quite high right now um, for the young players coming up and it's a little bit different to when I was playing. Um, but uh, yeah, if I had to just say one thing that was the biggest difference, it was just the, just the change in the physicality of the game. You have some of the younger kids that are competing and they're competing like men, uh, which is was rare to see, I would say, uh, five to 10 years ago. Um, just some quick uh, uh, questions and rapid fire answers. Where's your favorite place to go every year? Uh, Australian Open. Have you ever felt in physical danger at any event you've been at around the world? No. Never at all, really? Nah. Dark alley at night? Or... Nah, never. Is that, is that because you're such a tough guy? I think so. I mean, not really afraid of anything. What about your favorite food? Maybe the best place you've gone to and the food you've liked the most? Uh, Shake Shack. Shake Shack. <laughs> is, that, is that in Don Mills? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have to travel far to get one of those. What would be the most satisfying win of your career? Most satisfying win? Uh, I would say maybe 2010 when I beat uh, Melzer or um, maybe at U I was at Rogers Cup or US Open when I beat uh, Juan Monaco in the, main, in the main draw. Those are pretty satisfying. What would, what would have been the most disappointing loss? Maybe a match you came very close to winning. Tough call. Maybe like even one of the challenger finals that I've lost in the last couple of years. I lost to Michael Moe in Knoxville. Obviously, it's just a challenger, but it's a final. And I think at those moments, it's like, uh, you know, when I've been ranked 120, a win in the final would probably put me closer to 105, 100, especially at the end of the year, which could be could be a main draw slam. Um, so even sometime something like this year or a few months ago, rather, last year when uh, I lost to Tommy Paul in the final as well. Similar situation where, you know, a win there and then maybe followed up with another good result would have put me in the top 100. So although those might seem like smaller results, I think it was, uh, they were quite meaningful for me in terms of being dis disappointing losses. What does it feel like to be on the other side of the net from Roger Federer? It's uh, an experience that was very short lived both times, but uh, it's really tough, uh, especially with my game style too. To compete with him, he plays so quick. He's always uh, always putting pressure. Uh, I think both times that I played him, I'm not going to say that he was playing really well, but he was playing really well. And uh, it's just so much pressure from all angles, and you feel smothered on the court. You feel like time is just like passing by, and you don't have time to get into the match. How frustrating has it been, and does it continue to be, to have not cracked the top 100? Um, you know, not that frustrating. Obviously, it's a goal that I've set for myself and I want to get there and I believe I can. And I've had a, a few opportunities to do so, but uh, it's not like an, a frustration where I feel like, oh, like I haven't, you know, done this in my career or, or done that. But uh, yeah, it's something that I'm always working towards. And if I do get there, it'll be a very good moment in my career, very nice. Uh, just moment personally as well, I think, uh, working so hard towards something. but. Um, it's not something that I go day by day thinking, oh, I, I have to do this, I, I need to get there or else I'm going to be a huge disappointment type of thing. I'm really enjoying the process, enjoying the journey and uh, look forward to just, you know, keep improving and getting better and hopefully getting there. Here's the easiest question of the bunch. What's the best clothing you've ever worn? Best clothing? Uh, it's got to be Lululemon. It's uh, definitely the quality is, uh, you know, five steps above any other sports brand, let's say, but, uh, you know, by far best clothing. Peter Polanski, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.